Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and finally Apple has released the third beta of iOS 18.3. A really needed update and of course we're now closer to the release of iOS 18.3 to the public even though based on this update we'll probably have to wait a few more weeks before we get this update released to the public. Now this is actually an important update. I'm talking here about beta 3 because finally we have some like important changes that Apple brings with iOS 18.3 to our devices before the first couple of betas didn't actually have any meaningful changes so first of all let's take a look at a few different things right here a few important things like the size of the update you can see right here the size of the update will be around 700 megabytes that's very similar to the second beta of ios 18.3 of course that will be different based on which software you're updating from and of course which device you're using but if you're updating from the second beta of iOS 18.3 expect the update to be at around 700 megabytes. And now let's take a look here at the build number for iOS 18.3 beta 3 and as you can see here we have the build number 22 d5055b we have a build number ending with a b now the letters there of course indicate how closer we're to the final release of a software update and in this case ending with a b this indicates that it is actually not the last beta of ios 18.3 so we can expect apple to actually release another beta for this software update but we're going to talk about those releases and the rc version and the final release here in a few minutes first of all let's talk about what has changed with ios 18.3 now the big change here on the third beta of iOS 18.3 will be summarized notifications. Now Apple has been getting a lot of critiques regarding the summarized notifications even though everywhere they state that this is still on beta but you can see if you go to your settings and you go to your notifications when you go to summarize notifications first of all you will be able to enable it here and get a totally new setup. This is how it looks now when you're actually enabling summarized notifications. So you can choose to summarize notifications right here and it will show you a few different things. So you will have news and entertainment, communications and social, and you will have other apps as well. Now on the news, if you tap right there, you can see it says temporary unavailable, but you can of course do the other ones here. Now if we enable summarize notifications, you can see here we have have a list of the apps where we have summarized notifications and it will also have an updated text right here so summarized content in direct message messages and group notifications making them strict and easier to read summarized notifications might contain errors so it basically states that they will contain errors and of course they will it's still on beta and you will see right here here we have the notifications and they're actually not available for the news app and things like that so they have temporarily been disabled apple has taken a step back here with disabling these notifications now summarized notifications now also have this updated look so when you get summarized notifications they will be on italic right here so you will see the font is different from the normal notifications that you get on your iOS 18.3 device of course making them easier to be basically distinct from the other notifications so you know that you have summarized notifications and not just a normal notification. And also when you go to your notifications, now this will work for summarized notifications. It also works for other notifications as well. When you go to options right here, you will be able to actually use thumbs up or, or thumbs down for the summarized notifications as well. So you basically let Apple know how they're doing. And then right here, you can see where it says turn off Instagram notifications. You will have an updated option where it just says turn off. So it basically doesn't state the name of the app. It just says turn off and you can turn off the notifications from there. So these are some of the changes that Apple has actually made to the summarized notification. Again, a beta feature which is still on beta and will probably be throughout iOS 18, even though they have been released a while ago. They take, of course, a lot of time to be like improved and maybe even be close to perfection even though they probably will never be but apple has taken a step back here and it's a good thing that they have done and of course we have to wait and see what update they will release next and see if they will actually 
re-enable those notifications with the release of iOS 18.3 to the public. So those are some of the changes that Apple has brought to the third beta of iOS 18.3. And now let's take a look at performance on iOS 18.3 beta 3. Now with the second beta, the performance was actually quite good. The only thing that was actually really annoying was like the touch not responding a lot of times, especially when I went to the app library, I had to go in and out there a lot of times in order to get it to work. Hopefully that's fixed with iOS 18.3 beta 3. We'll have to wait a few more days and see if that happened. But let's take a look here at the Geekbench score. So this is actually the score, the latest score that I got on iOS 18.3 beta 3. And when we compare to the last beta, it actually has dropped quite a lot here, especially on the multi-core score. So you can see the second beta had a score on the single core score at 2,964, a slight drop there at 2,957, while the multi-core score has actually dropped quite a lot. 7,280 here on the third beta, and it was 7,356 here on the second beta. We will have to wait a few more days and do another test and see if it has improved, but it looks like it's actually going backwards as well, just like Apple did a step back right there with the notifications. They're maybe even doing it on performance. And now let's take a look at the battery life as well. Now, of course, here we're talking about the second beta because we'll have to wait a few more days to get like a, like a report on the battery life for iOS 18.3 beta 3. But the second beta actually didn't look that good. So you can see right here, 50% battery, 4 hours, 34 minutes. Right here, we have about 120% battery, 9 hours, 25 minutes. Here we have exactly 100% battery, 7 hours, 25 minutes. Again, here with a 125% battery, 11 hours, 25 minutes. It's basically an average battery life, not the best ever, but of course it can get way better. Hopefully that will actually happen with the release of iOS 18.3 to the public. Now, when talking about releases, let's take a look here at what we can expect in the next days and weeks. Now, as you can see at the beginning of the video, we have a build number ending with a B, which to me indicates that there will be another beta before we move to the RC version and then the final release of iOS 18.3. So we will most likely see the next beta next week, probably on the 21st or 22nd of January. Then of course, an RC version most likely on the 27th of January. And in my opinion, the release date of iOS 18.3 to the public will be February the 3rd. That should be the date when Apple releases iOS 18.3 to the public. And from then on, of course, we will have to wait for the release of the first beta of iOS 18.4, which most likely will happen that same week. Usually Apple does this if they release like a public release here on the third, most likely on the fourth or the fifth, we will have the first beta of iOS 18.4, which should, should bring, of course, in difference to iOS 18.3, it should bring a ton of new features and changes, especially when it comes to Siri. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And of course, subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you on the next one.